No, stop. Stop. what's going on youtube and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before thank you for returning if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you are notified every single time i drop a video and you don't miss one video everybody in here make sure you smash that like button and drop a comment down below let me know what you like about the video let me know what you want to see next let me know if there's anything that you want to see on the channel any dog breeds i can try and book them for myself let me know drop it down below y'all saw the title and the thumbnail yes this is going to be a interesting one stick around for it watch the whole video through watch those ads without further ado let's get straight into the video okay so this is going to be almost a similar style video that i've been doing lately once i get this first part out i'm not going to talk for the video i'm just going to let the video play let you guys watch it if you have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comment section and yes the title is very true this was one of the frustrating rooms that i've ever done and not frustrating as in mainly the dog it was just all aspects surrounding this grooming service so maxwell has been here one two times before and he's got in a puppy trim the very first time he came in and when the mom dropped off i did his puppy trim and i checked in with her and she wanted a clean face and clean feet now his very first time there i was not able to do clean face on him i was only able to do clean feet on him because as you can see anything around his face he's very jittery for so i explained to the mom when she first dropped off listen he needs a few more puppy trims before he can get a full body haircut because he has to get used to clippers and vibrations and different things around his face now she was super understanding although she was disappointed because she didn't want a full body haircut she was understanding because she did she doesn't want him to get injured while he's grooming being groomed and that can happen when you are doing a haircut way too soon on a puppy now in this video he is probably about eight to nine months because when i first did him he was roughly around four to five months and then he came back a couple months later and someone else worked on him and pushed him through a full body haircut which should have never happened but i was not there when it happened I was not there when that happened so i wasn't able to explain hey he cannot get a full body haircut because of his behavior he has to get used to it he is not sure about a lot of things and he's a very hyper dog he's a bit of a wild dog on the table so a lot of work needed to be done so he can safely get a groom now because i am very cautious and my reflexes are pretty quick I did not injure him i did not cut him on the table i did not cut any part of him but this was a very difficult groom because he doesn't know proper table manner so he doesn't know you can't stand at the edge of the table and choke yourself he doesn't know that you can't snatch your face away when i'm clippering around your muzzle he doesn't know that you can't back up off the table when i am doing clean feet on him and all of that is taught while he is getting those puppy trims to stay still on the table so because he was not taught that because he didn't have the proper training for grooming as a puppy in this video i have to correct him several times and i have to be very stern with him because i am trying not to injure him i'm trying not to cut him and a lot of people are confused and they don't understand why you have to use a certain tone level with a dog and it's because you have to be the more dominant one when you are grooming a dog so for him he has to understand that i'm the more dominant one now i do get him to calm down eventually and just get groomed but then his mom pops in and it's like started from square one all over again so this groom yes it was very difficult it was very frustrating and it may seem like it to y'all it may not seem like it to y'all but again like i said if y'all have any questions drop it down in the comment section if i will feel free to answer them i am not going to edit this video much i'm not even going to speed it up i'm going to give it to you in real time and if y'all have questions please let me know make sure y'all drop a like and this is why i always tell people you have to get your dogs 
used to grooming before you get a full body haircut because some people bring their dogs in and the dogs are two months old and they're like well i want this type of haircut your dog is too young to get a full haircut that's like taking your two month old baby to the hair to the barber shop or the hairdresser saying hey can you do this on the baby one the baby's not going to sit still for that they're going to be frustrated they're going to cry because certain things are going to hurt so it's the same aspect with your dog you have to train your dogs for grooming train your puppies for grooming so when they get older they can get these fabulous full body haircuts that y'all want because she wanted a show cut so she wanted him to look like a poodle but still left fluffy which i did not do because i was not able to do um i'll get into the haircut notes once i'm done giving this disclaimer and then we can go over it together i'll give the haircut notes on what i did but I just want y'all to know this was a very difficult groom and also I want to state he was not harmed in any way because you'll see in the video I have to hold his snout in order for him to stay still I'm not squeezing it I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm not squeezing his mouth I'm not doing anything to harm him I'm just trying to keep him in one area just like right here I'm trying to keep him in one area so he doesn't get hurt but because he is at that teenage phase he is stubborn so he wants to fight it if you all have kids, y'all know how teenagers are. It's the same thing with dogs. They just can't talk back. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of me moving him back from the top of the table because he likes to be at the very, very edge of the table. You'll see me turning his head, holding his snout. You'll see a lot of correction for him because it's what he needs in order to stay safe for grooming because I have not groomed this dog since. I don't know where he goes for grooming now. I explained to the owner she wants to bring the dog to me, but it costs too much for her. So I completely understand that. Um, but I hope he is getting the help that he needs and I hope he is with a groomer that can really work with him because he is a very very sweet dog he just does not know yet so it's like when you are teaching your child not to touch something hot or touch knives in the kitchen you have to be really quick and really stern with them hey don't touch that it's the same thing for dogs and that's the only way dogs really kind of understand and get that hey okay this might hurt you know and sometimes dogs have to experience that that injury so if a dog let's say a dog is really wild on the table and the dog slips a foot off the table and it scares them sometimes dogs have to experience that slip of the foot to understand okay maybe i should stay still on this table now i've had dogs that will keep slipping a foot off the table and will never get it together but there are a lot more dogs that will figure it out than the dogs that don't figure it out some dogs just are determined to hurt themselves until you stop <laughs> and it's like it's not funny but it's funny at the same time because it's like you know this hurts you but you're doing it because you want me to stop and that, i think that's the one thing people don't understand when they're watching dog grooming videos is it is not an easy job it is a very difficult test especially especially if you have a difficult dog so just a full disclaimer this is not an easy groom this was a very frustrating groom like I said, I got him to kind of calm down and just focus elsewhere while I'm doing his haircut. But then his mom comes back in and then it's a whole thing right back over it. And I'll I'll hop in and tell y'all when his mom hop, comes in and starts talking. And you'll actually be able to see because he starts to act crazy and he's a little he gets a little bit more wild on the table. And let me say this too he is not a bad dog he is just a puppy who has not been trained yet he is a puppy who needs stern correction he is a puppy that needs more work at home and that'll kind of help his behavior in outside aspects because the mom opened up to me and told me that she wants to get him into a training class because he is a very wild dog so when you have big dogs like this or even small dogs like this that are very active very wild very rambunctious it is very important to get them in training because if you don't get them in training and have them understand that you are the master you're the dominant one they will become the dominant one over you and i've seen so many instances where the owner is afraid of the dog there is so many ways that you can prevent that by just letting the dog know that you are the more dominant one you cannot push me around i am the owner i'm the master you have to if y'all don't believe me y'all can watch a whole bunch of dog grooming videos some of you are 
not a fan of those dog grooming videos because y'all look at dogs as like humans and people and babies but dogs are dogs they are animals so they operate on a dominant standpoint and i've stated this in some of my other videos and if y'all haven't checked them out feel free to check them out but i'm not going to go over how to be more dominant than your dog how to train your dog that can be for a different video if y'all want me to go over that i can do that with y'all i could just do a quick sit down video and talk about that in the camera just let me know what y'all want to do but when you are getting a dog especially of this size because he's a pretty big poodle and you can't even tell in the video how big he is but he's a massive poodle and like i said he's only eight to nine months so when you get a dog like this it is very important to establish that dominance in the very beginning of you getting the dog because if you do not it can take a while to establish that when they get older so big key takeaway just from all of me spatting that information out it is very important to work out the dominance at the beginning of the relationship with you getting your dog bring them into the grooming salon so they can get used to it because if not you will have a dog like this and it is very difficult for the dog to get out on a timely manner because this dog was there for six hours six hours actually he might have been there for a little bit longer than that six and a half seven hours and most pet parents don't like to have their dog in the grooming salon that long but when you're dealing with a difficult dog it takes a much longer time to get the haircut done because you're constantly fighting with the dog so if you want those haircuts that you love to see on your dog it is very important to listen to the groomer listen to your groomer let your groomer explain to you listen he's very young you might want to hold off on the haircut i understand that you want that i understand that's what you're looking for but he's just a baby right now right now he needs to get a little bit older he needs to get disciplined and understand that you are dealing with sharp tools and sharp objects around him and scissors and all different types of things so listen to your groomer when your groomer tells you it's probably not the best idea that you get a full body haircut right now now also with that being said i know there is a lot of you that do not care that want their dogs to look how they want them to look but if you really love your dog really care about your dog trust your groomer when they say hey he's not ready for it just yet because he is x y and z or he does this or he does that listen to your groomer trust me it's going to benefit you in the longer run you're going to find a really good groomer that's going to work with you and work with your dog and you're going to get those beautiful haircuts that you want but with all that being said straight takeaway like i said understand dogs need training understand when they don't get training they can become rambunctious and rebellious and not listen on purpose because they know that i don't want this done i'm bigger than you i don't have to get this done so train your dogs for grooming early on train your dogs for you early on and i promise you you will love the relationship you have your dog with your dog but with that being said i'm going to get into the haircut notes and i'm just going to let the video play out like i said if you have any questions drop them down in the comment section share this video like this video let's get into the haircut notes So for his haircut, I started off with a half an inch on his body. So that's a one guard comb. For those of you that are not sure, I started off with a half an inch on his body because she likes him a little bit fluffier and I only took about half off, but it did not look right with his coat. So I dropped him down to a four blade and then I skimmed an A, which is three fourths of an inch on the top of his legs. And then I let that kind of fade out. And then I hand scissored the bottom of his legs and in terms of his ears i left his ears fluffy but i kind of did like a straight blunt cut because i consider those boy ears so four on the body a on the top of the legs down about halfway and then i scissored the rest of his head and then i scissored him into a top knot for those of you that are still working on their poodle cuts i'm not going to go over in this video how to do a poodle cut i can link the card where i go over that within detail with my last poodle haircut i'll link that here but for those of y'all that are looking 
and still learning how to do a poodle cut poodles get a crest on the back of their neck that kind of fades into their body so when you are shaving you want to shave the sides of the neck the front of the neck but you don't want to shave the back and you can kind of see that here where the back of his neck still has full hair you want to leave all that and you hand scissor that now I want to let you guys know my phone did die while I was recording this video so I got up to me scissoring the top of his head and it died after that so you won't see me scissor his legs and you won't see me kind of scissor around his ears but that's why I wanted to tell you guys what I did she also wanted a donut mustache on him so because his mustache wasn't long well his fur wasn't long anyway I just shaved out a little circle and then just left that there and I did clean face and clean feet everywhere else so because my phone did die I was not able to get an after video because when I tried to record it it just died again so I let it juice up a little bit and I was able to get some after photos so you'll be able to see that but I don't have the wash video in here because I had to him put him straight into the tub and I don't have the after video so you'll be able to see the before photo and the after photo of his haircut so you'll be able to see what he gets done and then I shaved half of his tail because she wanted a makeshift palm tail and that's pretty much what I did for his haircut like I said if y'all have any questions drop them down there I'm gonna let the rest of this video play out and I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hop back in at the end and give my usual spiel
and right here is when his mom came in the salon and you'll be able to tell when he finally recognizes that it's her but this is right where she came in and it was almost like back to square one One thing I want to stress is the importance of not coming in the salon when your dog is on the table. It stresses the dog out, it stresses the groomer out, and it makes for the rest of the haircut to be very difficult because you're back to square one fighting the dog. So if you see your dog on the table, please do not come in the salon. Give a call, text your groomer if they have their number, but do not come in the salon because things can just reverse just like this.
so when you're doing clean face on a dog it can be one of the most dangerous things if the dog is not good because you have to stretch the skin when you're shaving the face so the clipper doesn't jump on the skin and cut the dog so when I'm trying to hold the face and stretch the skin he's yanking his face turning around trying to fall off the table and it can be very very dangerous so in this moment I am extremely stern with him because I'm trying not to cut him and because it is such a sensitive area because they have loose skin around their lips and loose skin around their neck so it is very important that I'm super stern with him because I don't want to injure him and all of this behavior just reverting back to square one is all because the owner came in the salon so when I say it is very important that you don't come in the salon when your dog is on the table it is super important because you don't want your dog to get injured and I stated in one of my last videos an owner came in the salon when their dog was on the table and the dog's ear got cut because she yanked her face away while the groomer was shaving the ear so it is super important that you do not come in the salon when your dog is being clippered or on the table for any kind unless and I mean absolutely unless that is the only way the dog will behave is if you're in the salon because there are some dogs that are like that that behave better when their pet parents are in the salon Maxwell is not one of them so it just made the ending of the groom super difficult to finish
so as I stated earlier, my camera did die, so it's actually about to shut off before I do the rest of his scissor work. But I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this video straight through. I really appreciate every single last one of y'all. Make sure y'all drop a comment down below, ask me any questions that you may have, drop that like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel. I will catch you all in the next video. This is what it looked like before. And this is what he looked like afterwards it is not a complete haircut it's not my best haircut but it was what i was able to get done on him i will see you guys in the next video love you guys